Hey everyone, it's Para. Today we're going to talk about creating a Telegram bot in C Sharp. This particular series is for creating a Telegram bot completely from scratch. I have another series which I'll be linking in the description of the video that goes over creating a Telegram bot using a template, which will get you up and running much faster, but you won't learn as much about coding from it. However, if you're a beginner and want to create a simple bot, then I suggest you go to that tutorial. Now, before we get started, we need to set up our development environment. I'll include all the necessary links in the description, but first you'll need to download Visual Studio. So you're going to want to go ahead and grab the Community Edition, which is completely free, unless of course you have an MSDM license. Once you've downloaded that, you'll be presented with an installer screen, something like this. Now, I have a lot more things selected than you're going to need, but that's for other work that I'm doing. What you're going to need is the .NET desktop development, at the very least, and the .NET Core cross-platform development, because we're going to be developing this in .NET Core so that you can run your application on Linux, Windows, Mac, Raspberry Pi, whatever you want. Anyways, once you've already selected all that, you're going to hit install down here. Now, while that's installing, let's go ahead and uh, talk about the bot API documentation. You need to go ahead and familiarize yourself with this. Core.telegram.org slash bots is the main page, and it'll go over the basics of it, but what we're really going to focus on is the actual bot API documentation. Anytime that you feel like, well, can my bot do this, or how do I do this, or whatever, the first thing you should do is consult the Telegram bot API documentation. It lists all of your available methods. It lists all of your types. So for example, if you want to get information about a user, you're going to get a user object, and here's the information you're going to receive about them. You really need to just go ahead and bookmark this and use it as a reference anytime you have a question. So the next thing we're going to talk about while you're waiting for that to install is Botfather. This is where you will go to configure your bot, create it, everything. When I say create it, that really means just create the account. It doesn't mean you're actually creating a bot. You're just creating an account for your code to connect to. That's it. So you're going to go to Botfather, which is at Botfather, and you're going to run new bot. And it's going to ask you, uh, okay, what do you want to call it? And we're just going to call this C Sharp Tutorial. Why not? And then it wants a username for the bot. Uh, CS.net bot. Oh, it's already taken. All right, that'll happen. Hey, there we go. All right, so we got a bot and we have a token. And for all of you watching the video, yes, I'm going to revoke this token as soon as I'm done. Anyways, you're going to want to save that somewhere. At this point, if you are still installing Visual Studio, just go ahead and pause the video until it is done. All right, so we've got Visual Studio installed. You've launched it. You're going to hit Create New Project, and then you're going to get a window like this. And we're going to choose the console app.NET Core, again, so that we can run this on Windows, Linux, Mac, whatever. Hit Next, and I'm just going to call this Bot Tutorial. And it'll take a moment to create the project. And then once you're loaded up, you'll have a screen like this. So the first thing we're going to want to do is add the dependencies that we need for the Telegram API. So go to Dependencies, right-click, and hit Manage NuGet Packages. And of course, you have nothing installed right now, so we're going to go to Browse and do Telegram.bot. And this one by Rounds Robin. I've been using for years. It's wonderful. So we're going to install that. And hit accept. And then at the top right here, we're going to do using telegram dot bot. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer here. We're not going to be using best practices here. This is a completely beginner's tutorial for people who have never coded in their lives. If you're actually a C Sharp developer and you know what you're doing, absolutely feel free to refactor this code and, you know, code the proper way. 
All right, so first off, we, we don't need this hello world. You, you just don't. So we need to actually create our bot client. So we're going to do a public static telegram bot client client. And then here in the main, we're going to do client equals new telegram bot client. You can see right here, it's asking you for the token, string token. So we're going to go back to Botfather, and here's our little token. Copy. And wrap it inside quotes, because it's a string. And there we go. So next, we need to tell the client what to do when things happen. We need event handlers. We need to do, and you can hit this little lightning bolt, which will show you events. We're going to do on message. On message plus equals. And then it'll even say, hey, do you want to do this? Hit tab, create it, done, nice and easy. Now we're going to make a simple echo bot, right? So we're going to first going to need the chat ID. So e.message.chat.id. And then we're going to need the actual text. So we're going to do e.message.text. And there, now we've got our chat ID and our text. So we can do client.send text message async. And you can see right here, it's asking you what variables are needed. And we're gonna do our ID. And then it says what text. We're gonna do, you said text, like so. Right? But this isn't going to actually do anything yet because we haven't told our bot to actually start doing anything. So client dot start receiving is what we need next. Now, once you've done all that, right up here, you can hit bot tutorial or you can just hit F5. It'll do the same thing. So we're going to run it. And then we're going to have a problem. because it's going to run and then it's going to close. We need to add a thread dot sleep negative one, which means wait forever. Let's run it again. All right, so our bot is running. We're going to go back to Botfather. And you can actually click this link right here, and hey, look, here's our bot. So start. Oh, look, you said start. Test. And there we go, a simple echo. All right, so next thing we're going to want to do is be able to handle commands. So we don't need to echo the text anymore. So we're going to do, because normally commands start with like slash start or slash now, which we'll do in a minute. So text equals text dot substring one, which lets us get rid of the first character, which is that slash. We don't want that. But what if there's also, what if they do now, what, what if they do something like now, ha ha ha. That's going to mess things up a little bit. So actually, we're going to do text equals text.split on spaces, and then take the first element. That way, if they send slash now space ha ha ha, we only get now. Now we're going to do a switch statement, which really goes through all the possibilities, well, the ones you plan for, and then it runs code based on what they input. So switch text case now break. So that's our case statement. So what we're going to do is we're going to do response equals date time dot now dot to string. It's a simple command. And then again, we're going to do client dot send text message async ID comma response. So let's run that. 
go back to telegram and do slash now and there we go a simple response so that concludes part one of this series this is you know get, just getting your environment set up getting you to where you can start actually coding In the next episode we'll start talking about the message object itself what data you're receiving an easier way to see that data and things like how to identify what user is talking to you, what chat it's coming from, replying to that specific chat, replying even to that specific message, digging a little bit further into the message object and understanding what all it is.